Hey there, fellow collector Shuki here with a review of the Ultraman Lube DX Lube Crystal Set 02. So, this one is laid out very similar to set one in the fact that it includes two uh, new Ultraman Lube Crystals and two new Monster Lube Crystals. Uh, this lineup includes a Leo, X, uh, Red King, and uh, Gargor 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 uh, Gargorgon. Gargorgon? Yeah, that's right, Gargorgon. Uh, he, he's neat. Uh, so there we go. I, I do dig this uh, lineup. Both of these have appeared in the series. And I don't think they've done Leo for anything yet, but X has appeared in the series kind of too. Not X, but the crystal anyway. Uh, and the box does advertise the fact that the X crystal is compatible with the Rube Slugger. We'll take a look at that. The other three all do the generic Rube Slugger attack, so we won't be taking a look at them in it. But... As you can see on the back, it does do all the different color combinations for the Rosso and Blue forms for the Ultraman, as well as the normal attack noises for the monsters. And then there is the Rube Slugger uh, functionality with the X Crystal. So that about it for that. That was not in English. Uh, August 2018 release for this uh, for about 1,200 yards. So great, depending on when and where you picked it up. So not too bad for a set of four. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. All right, and here they are. We'll just go ahead and order and take a look at Leo first. There is Leo hanging out in there. Ignore my ceiling lights. Uh <laughs> Very cool, and like I said, I like the way that the crystals look. I, I love the fact that they're kind of coin shaped. That's just a bias of mine. Uh, but the the picture in there is always like art, like artistically very nice, and you can get to see a nice picture of the ultra in there, unlike the capsules. So I, I dig these a lot. I just wish there was more functionality. But on the back here, of course, you have the same things as always, and I haven't really been doing this in every video, but be 24 is the number for that one. So there is Leo. Here is X. X is one of, if not my actual favorite Ultra design. I like Orb more as a series, I think. But uh, in terms of actual designs, X is my favorite. Uh, I, I dug his concept too. X, X and Orb kind of duke it out for my favorite. But I, I love his entire thing. So very cool. Nice green color as well. Flipping those up. B4. Huh, B4 what? <laughs> B4 orb. That's what. <laughs> so there is X. Uh, moving along to, I did those out of order technically. Uh, Red King. Very nice yellow color. Very, because he's ground sort of element. So he gets the kind of yellowish gold that Ultraman Victory will have when his crystal gets released. B84. And again, uh, being a monster crystal or kaiju crystal, it does have the black backing, which is always pretty nice. Though I have to wonder, like, if this doesn't matter, like, why are they here, to be honest? Because it does the same colors and everything, no matter what side you do for these. Hmm. Guess to match. Uh, here is Gargorgon. Very cool. I also like, I believe Red King was in Leo, so I like how, like, these monsters correlate with the Ultras that they are included with, because Gargorgon, I think, debuted in X, if I remember correctly. So that's cool. Wonderful picture of him in there. Got the light blue color, B100. So there you go. Let's bring in the Rube Gyro. And take a look. All right, we'll start with Leo. Go ahead and Rosso it up. That is it. He is a Showa Ultra, and he has a very, very quick, simple transformation sound. <laughs> That is one thing about them. So it's like the new generation heroes kind of get like the upper hand here because they all have like musical jingles and stuff. And a lot of the older ultras all just have noises or something like that. So they kind of get the short end of the stick. There we go. <laughs> 
again, short, sweet, to the point. There is that, I suppose. Uh, so there is Ultraman Leo. Moving on to Urutoraman X. Christmas colors. I think I kind of wish it said its name after, too. I think that's another thing that's missing. Because, like, after the fact, it just sort of ends. And I'm looking for, like, some sort of announcement at the end. Just because what I'm used to with these Toku toys all the time. Perfect. So they got that going on. Here is Red King. The design for the lights at the end looked really cool with the yellow and the purple. Very neat, neat comic of them, I suppose. And Gargorgon. Is that go ahead and bring in the Rube Slugger for Ultraman X's functionality? So, do the Rosso attack first. I smile anytime I hear Zanadinium or Zanadium or however you want to say it in English. X is stuff. And there we go, like I said, the other three all have the basic Rube Slugger attack noises, so there's nothing really worthwhile to look at there. But there we go, there are our three, or three, four crystals for this set. Uh, definitely very cool. Uh, the X one is obviously the only one that's absolutely a must own in my humble opinion, only because the sound in the gyro is really cool because I love his transformation, and the compatibility with the Rube Slugger. If you don't have the Rube Slugger, then by all means, uh, these should all probably be available in the Canyon Toy and Gashbon lines, particularly the Ultras. So if you're just getting for the Ultras, that's probably a little bit easier of a way of going. But for 1200 yen for a set of four of these, you can't really complain. Uh, at that price point, you might as well bite the bullet for the DX ones. So that about does it for this review. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye. I'd like to thank Mike, Joey, Joe, John, Josh, VZ17, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.